Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. Who would have thought? But uh, as always, I want to start off by saying all these songs are in a Spotify playlist in the link down below if you want to check out all the songs in easy format if you are a Spotify listener. And a uh, fun thing this week is that we've got what I'm going to start denoting from now on, a full flavor week, which means we've got a song in trash bad, meh, good, and standout. We got a song in all five of my self-imposed categories. So let's start off with the trash category. Uh, we've got Bye Bye by Marshmallow and Juice World. Um, so this is a, this is a posthumous song made in good faith, apparently, uh, made earlier when Juice World was still alive. Um, and so they apparently made this in a night, Juice World and Marshmallow together, and Marshmallow wanted to stay true to the style and the song that, that they made that night. But it, you, you can tell it was made in a night. Like it's, 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 it's a song that was like made in a day, which sometimes isn't bad, but in this case, it doesn't work that well. Um, I also don't love Juice World style, so bear with me. I don't really love that kind of um, acid rap style. Is that, I, don't, I don't even know if that's the right way to put it, but uh, with a basic trap beat, just just doesn't doesn't work well for me personally. Uh, but that's the only one in trash. We've got bad up next. We've got Ole Ole by Timmy Trumpet, Arrow, and Rave Republic. Um, I don't think this is that terrible, uh, but definitely not great. It's literally just a big room version of the like iconic sports chant of ole 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 that's literally what this is um timmy trumpet <laughs> got used to the fame of uh his narco track being used for the new york mets in baseball and realized that uh he wants to make sports anthems now so that's that's just what timmy trumpet's doing so up next we've got reactive by darren styles uh, i personally don't get the euro hard style kind of realm of music uh so this is this was pretty abysmal for me personally um i think this is uh <laughs> the, the this is where it all began the, this is my brother's kind of vocal thing i thought was really cringe um i'm surprised this didn't land in trash for me personally but up next, we've got Myriad by Nikki Romero. Definitely better than the last single uh, that he just came out with with an upcoming uh, EP soon, uh, but uh, still boring, offering little, if anything, new to the scene. So, uh, and then we've got California by Gareth Emery and G Jid Sedwick. I want to say Sedwick. I'm not sure to say that, but uh, lyrical structure does not flow at all. The pacing is super weird uh, and it's kind of the most bland EDM you can possibly get if you can even count it that. I would probably even just say this is just basic trap. It's almost even singer songwriter with a little bit of synths, but um, it's it's trying to be nostalgic. And also Gareth Emery is not from California. So I know you don't have to write songs about where you're not from, but like it's... Uh, it just it was weird. Uh, then we got Talkin' by DJ Hansel, uh, who is Dylan Francis, by the way. DJ Hansel is Dylan Francis. Uh, bass house track that is uh, very repetitive, and normally for bass house that can be pretty good, but uh, not so much on this one. I liked it at first, but then slowly I started to not, and so I don't know where this one would really fully land for me in enough time. Uh, but uh, I thought the the vocal sample was pretty lackluster, and the melody line was it was quite pitiful. So uh, this is one that I think works really well in a club, but not normally at all. So. And we've got the meh category up next. Songs, I think, are pretty meh. Uh, we've got Ghost Faced by Figure. The Monsters 13 LP is out now. And oh my gosh, I didn't know about this from before. But every, I think, October, Figure puts out a album called Monsters 1, 2. It's Monsters of Drumstep originally. This is the 13th year Figure has done this. So that's crazy. Um, but again, you've heard me say this a lot if you're... If you're for someone that's been around this channel. I don't love the brooding dubstep, uh, but I could I could get behind this, I think. Um, the vocal samplers are a little too on the nose for being this kind of monster stuff, but I, I think it works. Now we've got Notice by Nonsense featuring CC Mix. Uh, the Marble LP is out now. I had not really enjoyed the singles up to this point, but this one is probably the best of all the singles. Uh, it's a pop track and uh, it's very vanilla. And you'll hear me say that a couple times more here, but it's, it's just basic and very vanilla. I've got We Got Out by Alesso and Sick Individuals. Uh, this one grew on me quite a bit over the weekend. I was listening to all the stuff. Um, fairly basic, but hits the demographic of those that really like the Swedish House Mafia style of house. And um, there's an odd kind of dropout section where the song just kind of dies, but uh, I think works in a, in a show context again really well. Then we've got No Rules by Tasaki. Uh, very empty sounding synth line, especially for a dubstep trap, but uh, dubstep track, but uh, it's definitely unique. So I will I will give it that. Um, not as annoying as I thought it was going to be. It like works for me and doesn't, and it's that's why it's pretty much just here in the middle at, at meh. 
Then we've got Ride or Die by Mode Step and Automate. The new Diamonds EP is out by Mode Step with, uh, I think it's five tracks, all with different featured artists there. Uh, deep hitting dubstep track with a jittery high synth line. Uh, feels fairly empty though, and the screaming vocals feel empty too. It's kind of the best way I would put it. Uh, maybe with some different mixing or style or different takes, maybe I would enjoy it more. But. Then we've got October by Leah Culver, a very pop oriented future bass on this one for sure. And it's a bit of like, it's a very Zed sounding track. I would say if, if I would have took away all the nameplates, I would say, Hey, this, I could say this, this sounds like kind of modern Zed, uh, just not as prominent vocals, which is ironic because Leah Culver is a strong vocalist. Um, but, uh, yeah, the track is again, a little too vanilla for me. And while I said she was a strong vocalist, I think this one was, uh, this was kind of just very borderline the beat and the vocal performance here is just kind of okay we've got collide by eula uh, another pretty basic like electronica kind of style track um with uh not really a lot going on but nice nature-esque atmosphere and that's that's really all it's got i would say and then we got Miss You by Bishu, Bishu, Bishu House, uh, certainly something to uh, <laughs> to enjoy and look forward to. And he's got his own little spin on the genre, which I do enjoy. Uh, but that melody line is just a little too off kilter for me. And it's a touch too loud. And I think it's mixed a little bit differently for me, I guess, personally. I guess all this is my own opinion. Obviously, uh, I would have liked a little bit more. And um, with some repetitive vocals and what he's saying, I uh, it's just a... Uh, then we've got Colors, the Tynan remix by Griffin and Blank featuring Eiler. Uh, absolutely dirty drop from an original that was quite cookie cutter. Um, that being said, it's not Tynan's best and it's a little too muddy and lacking uh, melodic structure, I would say. Then we've got Double Tap by Going Quantum and Have. Uh, I was actually pretty unimpressed in this. I've heard a lot of people in the Monster community really, really like this new Going Quantum and, and Have track, but I don't know. I think if you kind of took away the name credit of Going Quantum here, I think this is just your kind of basic drum and bass track track that's uh, not too bad, but also not the greatest thing you've ever heard. So I think it's just kind of here and meh, but uh, I, I think I'm the minority on this one, on this track. So then we've got the good category songs that are pretty solid, I think, uh, regardless. Uh, we've got How to Let Go by Starseed and Luma. It uh, kind of prefaces as a basic mellow dub track, but turns into something much more intentional and meaningful. Uh, Luma's vocals are great as always, and I really like how uh, chill and kind of pushed back the drops are here. So I think it worked really well. We've got In Vain by Spagheti and Viper Active. Uh, this sounded like a lot of fun to make uh, and almost brings me back to the early days of dubstep with the very bright and clean electro synths that are used with dubstep drops. Uh, I think the first drop is definitely a lot stronger than the second, and this is one I think will grow on me over time. So I'm kind of giving this a, a good because I think it's going to grow on me. So I've got Colors, the Tsunami remix originally by Matt Zo and Olan, or Olam. Uh, very fruitful, fruity remix. Uh, keeps the kind of Matt Zo style, but like a different style of his. He's kind of does some more funky out there stuff and some more kind of basic progressive house. And this kind of takes a regular progressive house tracks and makes it a little bit more funky. So it's kind of fun. Uh, while still sounding like Tsunami. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very playful. Uh, I did think I do think it sacrificed a little bit on the mixing here. Mixing mastering was a little little more to be desired, but I still think it was a great track. Uh, then we got Trials, the Nightmare and Space Laces Club remix, originally by Nightmare and IDK. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more. This was just a Space Laces remix, personally. I didn't, um, there wasn't really anything that changed on the non-drops. There wasn't much other than this kind of constant synth line. But uh, I would have preferred a regular remix, I think, from Space Laces here rather than a kind of club mix. But uh, that's not what this song is. But I still think it was a great track, nonetheless. I really like the original, by the way, so... Then at our penultimate track of the week, we've got Rave by G. Jones and Eprom. Uh, I've been really getting into these two as of late and their collaborations have been solid. Uh, another kind of break core style track here with lots of dark electrical sounds. Uh, these two, again, work really well together, I think. Um, it's not a casual kind of pick up and listen or put in a basic kind of shuffle all your songs, but uh, it's incredibly well produced and something I'd like to go back to. So. Uh, and then we've got our standout track of the week. One track, it is a standout. It is Alive by KX5 featuring the Moth and the Flame. And KX5 is, by the way, Dead Mouse and Cascade. Um, I think it's the best, best KX5 track of the three up to this point. Very Rufus, excuse me, very Rufus to Soul sounding like with a really great vocal performance from the Moth and the Flame here. I did a reaction to that. Uh, you can go check somewhere. Maybe I'll remember to put a 
thing up here. But uh, that has been this week in EDN. Let me know what you guys think of any and all of these tracks, these songs in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But other than that, I've been Botan Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.